What was uh, different about Lopez early on this start than that last one? Well, I thought he came out throwing the ball great the first inning. Uh, looked like he did in Texas. Second inning, I feel like he lost some aggressiveness there. A uh, couple walks, a couple borderline pitches, too, that, that we didn't get. Uh, and the third and the fourth inning got back to being aggressive. You know, he got hurt on his curveball tonight, his breaking ball. His fastball was really good. They were not hitting his fastball. Uh, in the fifth inning, the hanging breaking ball to Lariano with two strikes. Uh, you know, the majority of the hits given up were – we're on the curveball. I'd like to see him a little bit more aggressive with his fastball there. But, um, you know, it was it, for three innings, it was really aggressive and, and just kind of had a, a bad second there where uh, a couple walks hurt him and, and a couple of curveballs that gave up, he gave up for hits. Next question is from Rich Dubroff. Uh, Brandon, how frustrating was it getting all those runners on and, uh, and not getting enough in? Yeah, well, we had opportunities, and we had opportunity in the first inning, opportunity uh, later in the game, you know, there than six with the to uh, with the bases loaded, and, you know, just didn't get the big hit. You know, the punch outs, or we got we got to move the ball with runners in scoring position. We're punching out too often. Um, give their pitchers some credit. I thought they did a nice job of pitching to us uh, when it mattered, but. Um, yeah, we're you know we're just we're, we're swinging at pitchers pitches a little bit too often in, in big spots, and we got to make better better decisions at the plate. Melanie Newman, go ahead. Uh, Brandon, just two things here with batters reaching on the outside. Were you seeing any of that tonight? They looked like they were just going for pitches that were kind of away from them. And then uh, just thoughts on the bullpen. I'll start with the bullpen because I was really impressed with our bullpen. I thought our guys threw great. Solcer with two huge innings. Uh, Lakens against the middle of the order for an inning. Tate had a great inning. And then Army, nice to see Armstrong, uh, you know, after having a rough last few outings, come in there uh, when the game's still in balance and, and having a one, two, three, ninth inning. That was, I'll take that as positive. Our bullpen guys did a really great job of keeping us in that game. Um, yeah, I just think up, down, away, we're just, we're, we're chasing too often. And, um, you know, we just got to make better decisions at the plate. I think a lot of our guys are pressing and there's a, there's a lot of different reasons, uh, of why, you know, we're not coming through in spots and punching out too often. Um, but the bottom line is we got to, you know, stop swinging at pitchers pitches and, and, um, be on time for the pitches that are in the strike zone. Uh, and we're just in a little bit of a funk to start this year. And, Hopefully we'll snap out of it. Next question is from Joe Trezza. Brandon, does, does Solcer look more like the guy who was closing games for you early last year? And what do you kind of attribute the fact to, that so many guys in the bullpen are throwing well at the same time? Well, I love that he, he was throwing that split change to right-handers tonight. Um, it's something we've, we've talked about with the, with the pitching guys. And uh, he saw the hop to his fastball, got his fastball at the upper part of the upper part of the zone and above by guys. I think he was throwing that split to right-handers, getting some swings. So that was, uh, you know, he's had, a, he's he's done a nice job. Solsa's with the two really good innings. Um, you know, the rest of the guys I was really impressed with. You know, it was nice to see Tate get a scoreless inning. Uh, so I was, I'm really pleased with with how our pen is is pitching, and and they are keeping us in almost every single game. All right, we have one final question from Nathan Ruiz. Brandon, do you have a starter for tomorrow, or do you guys have a roster move coming? We are going to make a decision uh, later tonight. 